Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land where it's going. Shalom. <clears throat> yes, brothers and sisters, we're back here again, you know, at this point. You know, all praises to you. How about Shema Shai? Actually, <clears throat> this, this epistle here, be patient when thou art brought to a lower state. And we've been here before. And uh, the beautiful thing about it is that um, it, it does make you strong. It makes you, uh, increases your faith, brothers and sisters. And uh, uh, it's just part of the process, you know. Coming back to you, how about Shema Shah, learning in this truth and, and growing in this truth and preparing our hearts, you know, our minds to this time of Jacob's trouble, you know, that's uh, fastly approaching us, you know, to have an understanding that uh, how about Shema Shah is, is uh, as he said, he's with us to the end. This is the time, you know, uh, when you're brought down to this lower state, we're going to get these scriptures and bring them out, you know, to remember all your training, man. As the scriptures say, Yahweh Hashem Hashem say, I'll be in you and you'll be in me. Just remember, you know, uh, remember all all the things that we've we've been taught and learned, you know, and believe and trust in Yahweh Hashem Hashem with all thine heart. Through it all, through it all, you know. Um, and that's what it's, you know, that's what it's all about. Being poised and prepared and ready, you know, for all, for anything. You know, knowing that Yahweh Hashem Hashem is all powerful. And that he cares for us, brothers and sisters. He's come back. He's, he's given us this great mercy. You know, he's given us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Um, and he's let us know his plans. So let's get into this epistle. Oh, oh by, the way, by the way, also, brothers and sisters, I want to um, make sure I bring out the point. I'm going to also maybe put in the description box. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to re-upload this brother, GMS, from Atlanta, Georgia, you know. Um... He just made this epistle, I believe, last night. Every man will slip in the truth, but how will? Let me see. How will? How will? How will you bounce back? Okay, every man will slip in the truth, but how will you bounce back? So I'm gonna uh, re-upload this and also re um, have it in the description box. If you click on the title of this, "Be Patient When You're Brought to a Lower State," that video should drop down as well. You know, and that's what it's all about: uh, edifying the brotherhood and. Uh, we're looking, looking to each other, you know, to comfort each other with these words, the words of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, brothers and sisters. So let's get into the epistle, straight to the book of Ecclesiastics. Uh huh. I'm gonna bring this closer. There, straight to the book of Ecclesiastics, chapter two. Let's start at one. My son, if thou come to serve Yahweh Hashem Hashem, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thine heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Yeah, and and, the, and these things ha happen, you know. Um, you know, at the beginning you're like all freaked out. Oh Lord, you know, you know, you just feel something's not right. You, you're low in the spirit, or either uh, you need to examine yourself. You know, you've done something, you know, to displease Yahweh by Shema and you're just afraid. So you know that don't, don't at these moments. It's time for a reflection, you know, to examine yourself, repent to the one true living God. Make sure you, you know, you, you, you understand, you know, if you have done something. Or it just could be um, a low point, you know, to, in your spirit to see, you know, what you're going to do at this time. Um, and as you know, you know, Yahweh Shemasha sometimes, you know, he would give us, he would chastise us, you know, to, uh, to build us up in this, in this truth. And that's what it's all about, getting stronger and stronger and having more faith and belief in you. How about Shema Shai? And, you know, be able to come to the Lord uh, whenever, you know, when, you, when you're feeling good, even when you're, when you're brought down low. As our, as our, as our uh, forefather Job, you know, he went through a lot of hell. But what did he, what did he do? He kept, he believed in you. How about Shema Shai? You know? So, my son, if thou come to serve you, how about Shema Shai? Prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thine heart all right and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him, and depart not away, that thou may be increased in the last end. Right. That's right. Cleave unto Yahweh Shemashah. You know, pray to Yahweh Shemashah. You know, let him know what's going on. 
and, and pray that he put a, a, a light spirit on you if it be his will. But be patient in this time. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Right. You, you know, hey, it's, and it's happened, it happens often. You're not always cheerful. You know, uh, walking around in this wicked ass world, you know, it's grueling, brothers and sisters. You know, we're in this sinful flesh. All these abominations are bound, you know, uh, and it's just getting worse and worse, and it's going to get worse and worse. Now we're at the time of this this uh, beginning of sorrows, you know, with all this mass death going on. There's a heavy spirit going on out here. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Okay? Order thy way aright, and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. And go not aside, lest ye fall. That's right, man. You got to remember, who who are you? You're in this truth, man. You believe wholeheartedly in Yahweh Shema Shai, you know. The Lord has blessed us with the 100% truth. You know, you got to look around. You know, just like the brothers always say, if you wake up and you still know the name of Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, go through the test. Run, you know, run thrift scriptures through your head. Are you still under sound? You still believe in sound doctrine? You know, you believe in Yahweh Shema Shai. You're good to go, brothers and sisters. Just, you know, just wait. Be patient, you know. And you fear you. How about Shema Shai? You're, you're begging and you're still hoping for his, for salvation, for mercy, you know. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. And go not aside, lest ye fall. There's nowhere else to go. You know what I'm saying? You know that there's nowhere else to go. This is the only way. This is the only way. As that epistle from yesterday, this is the way walk ye in it. So there's you can't turn to the left, you can't turn to the right, you can't you can't take your hand off the plow, you can't look back into the world, man. You're going forward no matter what happens. You know, no matter how you feel, hey, you still put your trust in your how about Shimon Shah. And once again, my favorite scripture, Proverbs chapter three, verse five. You know, trust in your how about Shimon Shah with all thine heart and lean not on thy own understanding. Okay? Verse 8, when we get, so, so Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 8. Ye that fear the Lord, believe in him. Believe him. And ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Okay? Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in Yahweh Hashem Hashem and was confounded? Exactly, like I just brought up brother, uh, brother Job. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of afflictions. Woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. Amen. Yeah, man. Woe to them. If you, you know, if you're too afraid to uh, to stand up for the words of Yahweh Shema Shai, if you're too afraid to turn away from this wicked world, you know, um, you want to put keep one foot in the world or whatever, you know, hey man, woe unto you. But we, you know, as the scripture says, first first John chapter five, verse nineteen, we know that we're of Yahweh by Shema Shai and the whole world lies in wickedness. You know, we we uh we hate the things that Yahweh by Shema Shai hates. We're on the one accord with the Lord, man. So look, there's nowhere to, there's nowhere else to go. Okay? So woe be to the faint hearts and f- fearful hearts and faint hands, and the sinner that goeth two ways. Woe unto them that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not. Okay, therefore shall he not be defended. See, and that's how serious this thing is, man. When these little trials and tribulations are brought upon you, you know they're they're brought upon you to make you stronger. You know, they're brought brought upon you to uh, to de- de- develop your faith even more in your how about Shema Shai. So when those when these heavy times of Jacob's trouble come upon you. When troops are at your door, hey man, don't worry about it. You believe in your how about Shema Shah. You hear me? Woe unto him that is faint hearted, and for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will your what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? Okay? They that fear your how about Shema Shah would not disobey his word. And they that love him will keep his ways. You're going to keep, you're going to hold on to this truth, man. You know what I'm saying? No matter what happens, no matter what you're going through, you're still going to find the time to, to uh, drop by a live, uh, you know, one of the live epistle from all of the brother, one of the brothers, man, and get edified on the daily. You're still going to find the time to bring out this 100% truth, you know, as your, as your daily sacrifice. You're still going to find the time to, uh, 
to pray to you how about Shema Shah, man? And keep your foot from from evil, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not you 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 you, you are an Israelite now. There ain't nowhere else to go. There's nothing else going on around here. No matter how you feel, no matter what lowest state you're in, no matter what great heaviness is upon you, you know what I'm saying? No matter what's going on in your life, that's where we at. That's where we at, brothers and sisters. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well-pleasing unto him. Right. And what's well-pleasing to you? How about Shemashai? That you love him, man. That you keep his commandments. You know what I'm saying? That you have faith and trust in him. Okay, that's well pleasing to him. Because he's already got it all sold up. He's Yahweh Hashem Asha. He's the God Almighty. You know what I'm saying? Which is well pleasing to him. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear Yahweh Hashem Asha prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight. Saying, we will fall into the hands of Yahweh Hashem Asha and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. Exactly. So, you know, the ultimate goal here is to make it, you know, throughout this thing with our integrity. To believe in Yahweh Hashem Hashem throughout all, this, all these things, all these afflictions. You know, to continue to constantly endure as a good soldier, as the scriptures say. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So wisdom and knowledge is, will be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. Right? The fear of the Lord is his treasure. And once again, going right back to Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. You know, trust in Yahweh Shema Shai with all thine heart and lean not on your own understanding. So right, right there, it's just wisdom and knowledge being put to use. You know, that you've already obtained. You know, by looking at the generations of old. Saying that... Who was ever confounded, you know, that put their trust in Yahweh by Shem Hashai. Going back through the list of stories about all the forefathers that came upon, you know, times of trouble or afflictions. And the Lord delivered them out of those things. You know, uh, whatever it may be, man. You know, we, and that's what, that's what's going on here with this 100% truth. Uh, without, you know, uh, without any cut, without any fat, without any guile. To give you that stability, the wisdom and the knowledge, man. Okay, let's go to the book of 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 6. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than gold that is perished, that perished, perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai. Okay, whom having not seen, ye love, and whom though. Now ye see him not yet believing. Ye rejoice with joy unspeaking and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Right, so once again, you know, as gold is tried in the fire, man, you know, it's pressure, you know, it's pressure put on you, you know, or whatever, whatever's going on. You know, this is the trial of your faith. Always think about it that way, that hey, yeah, how about Shema Shai? Said he's going to be with us to the end. You know, you got to understand that the Lord is, uh, he's in everything, you know. He's in everything. You have to believe these, you know, that's what, what's going on here. The build up that faith, man. This is the book of 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 6. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of Yahweh by Shema Shai, That he may exalt you in due time. Okay, casting all your cares upon him for he cares for you. Man, these that damn demons, man. I tell you, every time they hear me doing an epistle, they got to turn up their music and shit, man. They hate this word of me. How about Shema Shah, brothers and sisters? Okay, once again, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh about Shema Shah, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your cares upon him, for he cared for you. Okay? The Lord cared for us, man. And you got to, you know, believe that. Remember, always remember that. You know, always remember that. Let's con let's continue reading this. Verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So that's why you got to keep your guard up at all times. And don't be all uh, feeling all funky and stuff. Just continue to, to do what you normally do. 
you know, on a daily, you know, for Yahweh Hashem Hashem being uh, 100% in this, engulfed in this, submerged in this truth, you know, in this understanding. You know, hey, get behind me, Satan, when you get a, fic- a wicked thought or whatever going on in here. You know, you still got to, uh, you know, fight your flesh. You still got to uh, look out for all this wickedness in the damn world. No matter how you feel, brothers and sisters, okay? Now, we're going to have to move, man, because... It's just damn ridiculous. Give me a second, brothers and sisters. I'm going to just walk in the back. Lucky about that. It's just, uh, it was just getting that's a little bit too loud for me, man, out right there. Oh, shoot. Hey, Hold on. Hello. So, so, and, and yeah, and that's why, you know, we're on one accord with you. How about Shema Shah, man? Because, hey, if you're not with this truth, then you're an enemy of you. How about Shema Shah, as, as the scripture says. And you see that, the damn demons and shit just, um, Turning up damn music and shit. They see you. They they you know they know that you're doing an epistle. They don't you don't take that. You know we, we're not out there all damn day long, and we're not that super loud. Just sitting on the porch, bringing out the word. But hell no, they they can't stand that shit. You know, just like <laughs> sometimes the apostles being in the park, all in the big ass huge ass park, and here comes some dude on a motorcycle, ten feet away from him. <laughs> you know. But anyway, let's let's continue on now. Um. So this is First Peter, chapter five. We we'll just start at eight one more time. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, there it is, as a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour. Right, trying to hey get you all riled up, you know, make make you think carnally. No, Yahweh about Shema is going to come, you know, and all all the ones that have not repented to him, you know, what as the scriptures say, unless ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So, you know. Them demons down there, you know, that's that's not with this with this program, as the, as the scriptures say. Who's my mother, my brother, my sister, my father? Those that do the will of Yahweh Shema Shai. Okay, so something the Yahweh Shema Shai got something for them. So as the devil come around, you know, putting demons on these on the, on these people to, to turn up the music and whatever the hell they want to do. Hey, don't don't let that get you all messed up, man. You know, hey. Verse nine. Who resisted? Who resists steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world? Okay? So, the brothers, all the brothers are going through this stuff too, man. You know, you get all upset sometimes when, when some demon jump on somebody or, you know, start driving all slow and sporadic in front of them or whatever. But you got to stay in the spirit. You know, and we understand that these things are happening to all the brethren. You know, uh, this is it. This is the path. This is the path that we're walking on, man. To stay in the spirit, to believe, constantly endure, man. You know, it's part of the story. Verse 10. But the God of all grace, Yahweh Shemasha, who have called us unto his eternal glory by Yahweh Shai, after that ye have suffered a while, make ye perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Okay? To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Now the phone rang. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Salaki so brothers and sisters, one second. Okay, so like about that, brothers and sisters. We're gonna go to the book of Matthew. Um, Matthew chapter ten. Matthew chapter ten, verse twenty-nine. It says, Are not two sparrows sold for a fartling? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Okay. Fear ye not, therefore. Ye are more valuable. You are of more value than any sparrow. Whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. You know, and that, amen, that's all you need to know, really. It says, But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. 
Okay. Now see, and that's the understanding that we want to we want to have because um, we're doing the things that that uh, are pleasing to Yahweh Shem Hashem. We're confessing the name. You know, uh, we're standing up against, uh, you know, all the wicked ones. We, you know, all the iniquities that's that's been put here on the earth. All these, uh, we're standing up against, man. You know, we're standing for the word of Yahweh Shem Hashem. We're standing strong in the faith. You know, we uh, we turned away from this wicked world. Um, we've confessed with our mouth. We believe. Uh, therefore, you know, the scripture, the promises is there. You how about Shema Shah? Say, hey, he's there. As as you know, as the scriptures say, he has not called us into this unto wrath. You know, let's go get that. Let's go get that. Yeah, it's in the book of Second uh, First Thessalonians. I'm gonna go there real quick. Chapter five, verse nine. First Thess, chapter five, verse nine. For Yahweh Shemasha hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, who died for us, that whether we may wake or sleep, we shall live together with Him. Okay, wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as ye do. Right, so, hey, man, that's where it's at. Yahweh Shem HaShah did not call us in this truth, in this, into this 100% truth, you know, for wrath. Because you got you to gotta remember now, there's, uh, you know, many are called, but few are chosen, right? Now, we're, we're hoping to be a part of that number. We're hoping to be a part of that, that elect number. And we're putting on as the elect. But the Yahweh Shem at the same time showing us examples of false prophets. And we're able to see these things. We know who Esau, Edom, the devil is, or our enemies. You know, we know who we are. We believe that we're of Yahweh Shem And the whole world lies in wickedness. You know, these are all positive things that, that brings us closer and closer to Yahweh Shem gives, gives us more faith. Once again, I want to go back to um, Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in Yahweh Shem HaShah and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or who did he ever despise that called upon him okay for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy long suffering very pitiful and forgiveth sins and, sh and saveth in time of affliction right and you know um, when you're in these lower states you know as the scriptures say just be patient uh, pray to Yahweh Shem HaShah you know, uh, if you have, if you, if you did something um, that, that maybe displeased the Lord, make sure you, uh, you know, uh, repent of that and trust in Yahweh Shem You know, as the scriptures also say, uh, let not your sins weigh you down. Let your, let not your iniquities lift up them heads. Right. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter ten, verse twenty-one. And having a high priest over the house of Yahweh Shem let us draw near with the true heart, in full, okay, full. Assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Right? That's right, man. That's why it's very important to stay in this 100% truth with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, brothers and sisters, and all the other brothers bringing out this 100% truth, you know, on the daily. Bring it out. Washing us with that word. Okay? Let us hold fast the profession of faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Right? Uh, and that makes me, uh, that reminds me of a, a little quick scripture I want to grab here. Uh, and Elder Apostle Gabar uh, brought this out last night as well, I believe. So faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of Yahweh Hashem HaShah. Right. So faith comes by hearing. Because, I, you know, when uh, we read this in the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 10, um, and our bodies washed with pure water. You know, faith coming by hearing, man. We've been clean and washed with the word. Having that faith. I want to, I want to read this Hebrews one more time. Because it, it, it is beautiful. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 21. And having our a high priest over the house of Yahweh Shem HaShah. Let us draw near with a pure, with a true heart. Okay. In full assurance of faith, brothers and sisters. 
having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Okay? For he is faithful that promise. Right, man. And that's where it's at. No matter what. Hey, as you know, and I, you know what? Bring out this epistle now. I feel even better already. You know? I do. All praises to you. How about Shema Shai? Because this is where it's at, man. This is the book of uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Wait, I want to jump up. But yeah, this gospel is being preached on the four corners of the earth. You know, and then we, we understand that the end is coming quickly, man. It's fastly approaching because this is prophecy being fulfilled. We are prophecy being fulfilled. But look, this is the verse uh, 13. Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Right, right. You have to endure to the end. You can't be wavering, can't be tossed to and fro. You can't, um, you know, start listening to some other bullshit and all that stuff. Or falling back in the world, falling out. Or, or, or you know, just, ah, uh, uh. No, just be patient, man. Pray to you, how about Shemashah? Cleave unto you, how about Shemashah? This is uh, Revelation chapter 21, verse 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful, right, so this is uh, just reiterating, you know, again, what we read earlier. But the fearful, and the unbelieving, and the abominable, and the murderers, and the whoremongers, and the sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And once again, you know, uh, as this 100% truth is coming out, letting you all know that, hey, it's the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians have right to this salvation. The ones that are actually can repent and come come out of them damn lying as churches that, prom- that promote that the law, statute, commandments are done away with. But all these things are based on the law sets commandments. You know, he that overcometh shall endure and inherit all things. And I will be his God and he shall be my son. But the fearful, right, if you're too afraid, once again, to turn away from this wicked ass kingdom, you know, Esau, Edom, the Caucasian races, their world that the Lord has given into their hands right now, you know, that's promoting everything that's contrary to the word of the Lord. You know, if you're, if you're afraid to stand up against the workers of iniquity, you know, they say, no, no, no. Yeah, how about Shema Shah say, that's not the right way. This is the way. Walk ye in it. You know? And the unbelieving. If you don't believe in this word, you want to lean on your own understanding over here. You want to do things your way. You don't want to humble down under Yahweh Hashem, under Yahweh Hashem Shah. You don't want to proclaim that Yahweh raised up his son, Yahweh Shai, you know, for the sins of the children of Israel. You know what I'm saying? You want to be an old school Israelite? You don't want to talk, you, you don't want to believe in the 12 charts to sign? Just come on, man. On and on and on. We could go. We could. We could be here all day long talking about all the all the unbelief of the children of Israel, the stiff neck ones, you know, and the abominable. You want to continue on in your wicked deeds, you know. You want to continue on adding sin upon sin upon sin upon sin, eating crab, shrimp, pork, and lobster, thinking it's okay, you know. These women want to continue on wearing fucking pants and shit. All these abominations that the Lord hates. And murderers. Hmm? And whoremongers. You know? And sorcerers. You want to continue on doing these drugs and all this shit, man. Selling them. And idolaters. You want to worship that money? You want to worship that car? That woman? Anything and everything except for you. How about Shema Shai? Wearing these uh, crosses all on your neck. Statues and stuff all in your house. You know, and thinking it's okay. Praying to the Virgin Mary or Saint Mark or somebody, whoever the, the Catholic priest done told you to pray to. You know? And all liars shall have their part in the lake of which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. See, we don't want no part of that second death. And that's why we're we're running in this race and we're running all brothers and sisters. That's why we're cleaving unto you, how about Shima Shai, man? You know, that's that's why we understand that there's no other way. Even when you're brought down to a lower state, you, 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 hey, you hold on, you pray, you may have to go on a fast sometimes, you may examine yourself, make sure you don't have any demons on you, you got any demons on you, 
huh? Fucking with you. We're gonna get this last trip, and we're gonna close it out. Uh, I think we're gonna go back to First Peter. No, no, no. So lucky. We're going to go to James. Chapter 5, verse 7. It says, Be patient, therefore, brethren, until the coming of Yahweh Shemashai. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth and hath long patient for it until he receiveth the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient. Establish your heart for the coming of the Lord Yahweh Shemashai. Draw nigh. Grudge not one against another. Brethren, lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. Take my brethren, the prophets, whom have spoken in the name of Yahweh Shemashai for an example of suffering afflictions and of patience. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the, the end of Yahweh Shemashai. That the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Hashah, is very pitiful and of tender mercy. Okay? So, hey man, once again, be patient when y'all brought into a low estate. You know, and uh, just constantly endure. And above all, have faith in Yahweh Bashim Hashah. So with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rikakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land word of God. Shalom Israel. Shalom.